Hey guys, it's Lydia from you here. Hi, welcome to my channel. And if you're not, then welcome back to another one of my videos. Today, I am here with maybe my most exciting video yet. I am doing a pack and prep with me to get ready for Paris. This is a very spontaneous trip. It's my school break in two weeks. So I have two weeks to plan and pack and prep everything as of right now. I'm going with my friend Haley and she's who I went to New York with and Nashville with. We know we can travel together. This is both of our first times going to Europe. We've never been before, so this is a complete new learning experience for both of us. I'm so excited. I haven't done any outfit planning. I'm getting my hair done tomorrow because things are looking rough over here. When I put my hair in a ponytail, it's literally brown. So we need to fix that, obviously. I'm gonna need to get my nails done. I'm gonna need to go pick some outfits out because I wanna look good in Paris. I want to be thriving in Paris. Right now, we just got the biggest snowfall we've gotten in like 10 years or something it's literally like five to ten feet of snow depending on where you are everyone was like snowed in for like three days i went on a ski trip and we got stuck in a log cabin for three days so i obviously couldn't work out i couldn't eat healthy i was eating blueberry bagels every single day so i need to get back into the gym so i'm feeling good looking good for this vacation so it's gonna be the ultimate glow up over here for this glow up i thought it'd be fun to do a little review of the summer friday's dream lip oil in the shade plus dream i just got this and i really want to try it out and give you guys a good review before we get this video started it's so cute oh my god obsessed with this it has just like a little bit of pigment and it feels very, very buttery smooth. It just feels like very oily. That's literally the best way to put it. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of those vlogs and I will check in with you guys when it's hair day. Also totally off topic, but I just need to say this. I went skiing for the first time. I think I mentioned that earlier. I am so bad. I ended up going down, not the bunny hill. I went down the random other one because I was going and I didn't know how to slow down and I didn't know how to stop. So I accidentally went down the wrong thing and just rolled, hit a tree. I'm laying there in the snow crying. So I learned I will not be going on any ski trips until further notice. Okay, Hi. this was our first day back together at the gym for what, a week? Yeah. Brutal. It's, it's a sauna in there and there was a guy on the treadmill in front of me. First of all, it's probably like 25 degrees. I'm yeah. not exaggerating. It's 25 so degrees in here. there. And he's in front of me and I'm like running, 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 running. He shuts off the fan <laughs> and he's walking. He's just like, like this. I'm like, are you kidding me? Yeah. Aisha gets off the treadmill and that guy leaves and I text her and I'm like, I'm begging you, please turn the fan on. <laughs> like, I'm begging you, please turn that fan back on. Thanks, God. We had a good workout. We did yeah, weight. We did weight. So. We started with weights, probably, what, 20 minutes? Yeah. And then she ran. And no, I we did. We did a little, um. Oh, yeah, her booty. Her booty. Her booty. Her booty. Yeah. I say her booty because I'm on the day. <laughs> I didn't do that. She was like, no booty no, for, no for me. But yeah, so, and then I ended with 6K. Yeah. And I just went up and up. <laughs> you just went up the hill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally the treadmill. Yeah. Yeah. What up the hill? Oh, the treadmill. <laughs> It's two days later, so I obviously got my hair done. It took like five and a half hours. I literally love my hair girl so much. I love just being able to sit there and talk. She's so funny. Like having a good hair girl makes the biggest difference because it's so fun to just like sit there, give all the updates. And so she made it like super, super light. She did like a really silvery toner, which made it look really like brown almost the first day, but I washed it like twice already. So now it's like lightening up, which I really like. I did end up going to a garage. So I'm gonna give you guys a haul of the one thing I got there. I really, really needed a black dress that I could wear and just pair with everything. I got this dress, drapey in the front. And then it's like crisscross in the back on the bottom here really roughly and there's a flower and i went to Levion rose and i personally love their bodysuits more than i like garages corset tops i got a pink corset and i plan on wearing this with jeans or like white dress pants and you can make super casual and you can pair it so many different ways today it is super bowl sunday i will check in with you guys for nail day I randomly just got in the mood to try on outfits, right? 
out and I really want to do like a plain simple white dress as one of my options so I have this one and it just has a little slit on the side a little bit of boobage here I'm kind of obsessed with this also I put in my hair extensions because I'll probably end up wearing these on my trip and I just wanted to make sure they're like even and blended which they're not really because I just dyed my hair I'm honestly kind of obsessed with this I love this so much okay so this is the next one I'm absolutely obsessed with these sleeves it has some little lace detailing here I love it's the perfect length it doesn't have a slim set it's just really flowy I think this is just so cute so next is this mesh tube top I was gonna bring this skirt to New York I don't know if this is screaming Paris but I kind of feel like I have to bring it with anyways I just absolutely love it and it's something different that I wouldn't wear around here next is this dress that I bought the other day which not my favorite style, but I needed a plain black dress. If you know, you know. Kind of ruffly here, which I do like. I feel like this is very Paris with the little ruffles here. Got the cutest little PJ set, which I'm 100% bringing with. I literally love this so much. This Opali beaded top, which I always want to wear and I never end up wearing it because the cups are just like slightly too big. So I just feel like it's never very flattering. This is this black leather mini skirt. I wear this literally so much. I also can't really tell if this goes together. I have my new corset that I just got with my white Aritzia dress pants. I haven't really gotten a chance to wear these yet, but I feel like this would be a cute cafe, maybe brunch outfit. I feel like this one is so perfect for in front of the Eiffel Tower at night. Good morning, guys. It is the next day and it is nail day. So I woke up super early this morning, I got ready. I'm so excited to get my nails done. This one is like falling off. Girls, I get it, get it. It is so annoying and so painful. I got a couple new products. So I wanted to kind of finish getting ready with you guys. Just kind of while I chat about what I'm doing for the day. Two days ago was Valentine's Day, so I feel like I am in need of like a detox. I'm gonna go to a hot yoga class today. My boyfriend got me the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter for Valentine's Day. And look at this, it's so glowy. I've never tried the highlighter. I absolutely love the blush. I'm like, you're kidding. I'm absolutely glowing right now. I love this so much. This is a win for sure. I have a couple different Merit Beauty blushes here that I wanna try out instead of the usual one so i've already tried this one in the shade of fox it's like a dark red bright one in the color persimmon scooty and i have this other one in the shade beverly hills and i feel like this is the one i want to use today just because it's very pinky i've definitely switched over to more cream products lately just because i feel like in the winter it makes you look a little more lively, you know? So just tried out the Merit Beauty concealer stick and I feel like that has pretty good coverage. So I figured I would try out the new How to Beauty liquid matte today. I also got this for Valentine's Day. It came with like a little lychee Kayali spray. I feel like it might be a little too pinky for the nail salon. <laughs> I'm mixing it with this. Too Faced Melted Matte in Cool Girl, and I'm gonna do a lip gloss. What I always do is use a liquid lip gloss to blend it in. Okay, I actually like that. It's a little darker than I'd usually do. I feel like this is actually a pretty good combo with the Laneige. I need to go to the nail salon right now, and I wanna stop and get a Celsius on the way because they're in Canada now. I just wanted to show you guys, I ordered off of Every Jewels, and I got this pearl angel wing necklace and I got this for Haley and Janae, my two best friends because we're all about to be roommates together so I thought this would be the cutest necklace. I thought it'd be so cute if we all had matching necklaces and I got this as like a little Galentine's Day gift. It just always feels so much better when I actually take the time to do my makeup especially like early on in the day. Two minutes before I have to go inside. I had time to stop and get a Celsius. The orange ones are my favorite so far. I do like the peach one too. These make me so shaky. So hoping this doesn't cause me to spiral and have an anxiety attack inside. Will it? Probably. And I'm gonna do a little couple spritz of my pistachio perfume I got. This threw me off when I opened it up because the bigger version of it, this really pretty green packaging. And this is like a black 
looks different because I'm like holding it up in kind of front of the sky, but it's black. So I thought this was like messed up when I got it. But then I read all the reviews and it's supposed to be this color, but, but it smells so good and it's one of my favorite sprays. <laughs> hours later and i don't know why it takes so long to get a nail fill at this spot i absolutely love the way they turned out i just got a french tip with the little red hearts like i wanted me and Haley actually sat down a couple tips i want to give you guys before i get into like the itinerary one thing me and Haley did when we were in new york is we downloaded an app so we could understand the metro station a little bit better so we did the same thing for Paris. We downloaded an app that like explains the train system and all of the navigation. We downloaded a translation app to just translate anything in a currency converter. Kind of just like the back end stuff. We also ordered a phone chip and I know in Europe there's different ports in the wall as well. That is one thing to keep in mind that we're gonna have to go get. And after learning the hard way like last time I will be packing an extra phone. I haven't started the packing list. That is gonna be home for later. Right now we made our bucket list. We grouped everything in the bucket list based on where things are in the Paris arrondissement. We're staying at her friend's apartment while she's gone on a trip and then a hotel for a couple other nights. So I have my little list here. I have a sightseeing category and then like a food category. Under the sightseeing category, we have the Arc de Triomphe, the Eiffel Tower, Notre Dame, the Louvre, the Champs Elysees, the Luxembourg Gardens, Pantheon, morning picnic and croissant, obviously in front of the Eiffel Tower, the Dior Gallery, Louis Vuitton, Versailles. So I think we're actually going to take a train and go to Versailles one day. The Marais, which is like the shopping area, the St. Chapel, I want to go for a run at a park and I'm trying to convince Haley to get walkie-talkies. She's not down. I think that would be hilarious. Pontezar Bridge, which is on the Seine River, which is I think the Love Walk Bridge. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't actually understand that. We might go to Disneyland Paris and we were originally going to spend one day and go to London but Paris is just so big and there's just so much to do there that I don't even know if like a week plus Time is gonna be enough to do everything on this list. Every day we're gonna obviously go for like coffee, go for brunch, get like a croissant somewhere. I have a couple spots written down for food and wine. So I have Cafe de Flora, Lotteray, the original Lotteray, 10 MCL, which is just this beautiful like rooftop bar that overlooks the Eiffel Tower. So that's all I have for food and drinks. I haven't really done a lot of research, but I feel like once we're there walking around, that's a little easier to plan based on like where we're actually gonna be for location every single day. So that was the itinerary so far. That is the bucket list. Now I'm changed into my Lululemon sports bra and aligned biker shorts, and I'm going to go to hot yoga. Is a full face of makeup a mistake for that? Maybe, we'll see. I'm gonna end this video here. I'm gonna start packing in my next video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching.